Hey everybody, this is Troy, Roadside RC. I've been following a uh, recent trend on Reddit. So I'm actually, I kind of like messing around on Reddit and watching maybe uh, the subreddit of RC cars. There's an Axial, there's a Traxxas, a Crawling. There's even an RC Drift subreddit on Reddit. I like to follow through some of those. And there's been a trend here recently of show us your workstations. And so I thought, oh, what the heck? Let me try this. Sometimes people ask questions on how should I store my RCs or things along those lines. This is what I've done. This is what I've done over different years of trying different things. I tried shelves for a while. I tried a couple different things like this. I finally ended up with this solution, which I think is really, really cheap and it works really well for me. So all it really is is a storage system using two by fours on the wall. So what you'll see here, I painted it the same color as the wall, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a two by four up here that runs horizontally and a two by four down here that runs horizontally. And in the middle there is actually two stringers, two vertical stringers that go up and down, one here, one here and that provides the basic structure framework for it and then for something like very lightweight like a drift car literally just another piece of two by four cut it in an ever so slightly angle this is not this is not level this is not flat it's actually ever so slightly canted back and just screwed into this two by four for stuff like crawlers a lot of times where the differential gets in the way you see it here you see it on Logan Struck, you see it on this SEX uh, 10. You, um, they don't like to sit on these flat boards because of that differential and they'll actually wobble back and forth. So the other thing you can do, these are just some simple, actually some one by four, I think that I had just left over, one by six maybe, that I had left over from another project. Literally just screw a couple in. They sit beautifully on the axles. Differential sits in the middle. Truck is super stable. If you get some heavier vehicles, this uh, Typhon is not really super heavy, but um, these are just now two two by fours side by side, same way that this is. Same thing for the Creighton, same thing for the Italian. Can provide, can uh, hold all sorts of weight that way without any kind of issues whatsoever. Plus it all keeps it somewhat compact from the wall so it's not taking up too much space. Uh, this works even all the way for something this is 16th scale that we that we have here and it'll sit there you can actually get two of them in on this drift car race buggy here's the wraith doing the same thing you know all of this works out now super huge like the x max i actually went with a hang because even sideways that thing sticks out a long way it takes up a bunch of room so i did decide to hang it on the front tires you'll notice of all the vehicles, this is actually the only one that's on its tires. All the others are actually off, which is usually especially super helpful for the soft crawler tires. But this is the same thing on this board. Two boards coming out on an angle with a bunch of screws run into them. And the X-Max literally just hangs there. Now what's cool about this is if you've noticed already, there's the controller for the X-Max. Here's the controller actually for the drift car. The Traxxas uh, controller sits right here in the middle. So just one more screw sits just like that. No issue whatsoever. You can see the one here for the Typhon. Um, sometimes I actually just set them on the flat board right behind it. That seems to also work. But again, here is the Wraith sitting there side by side. So, I mean, really in honesty, right here in this little space, there's 14 trucks. There's 14 vehicles just right there in that tiny spot. It works really, really well. I have a charging station here in the middle with my charger on top. This is a metal box that literally was like a, just a find. A metal box with shelves in it. Batteries can sit there. Everything works out really, really well. Um, you can see I actually do have a couple that still need a home at the moment because it's always buying and selling and trading. So even something like this off the 2x4 hanging a hook and then the grave digger can just hook from it. And then of course there's there's more to it than just the trucks themselves, right? Like there's the tools, there's the parts, there's the spares. So um, again, this was actually my grandfather's old military ammunition box. Um, I just, again, it's just sitting on that same 2x4 that's running across the wall. I found a stud in the wall behind it, drilled a hole, anchored it in, anchored it to that, and now I have a whole very strong bin 
that I can put parts in. This is actually an idea from my friend, the Rich DRC, is to get these plastic totes. You can stack them up and you can actually sort them. This is X-Max, this is Arma, this is crawler stuff. You can easily keep stuff separated that way. But then the other thing you have to have is you have to have a place to work on them because it's part of this hobby, right? There's always working on these vehicles. So I love, I am very, very fortunate. I have a very large workbench that of course is normally cluttered with too much junk, but um, you know, simple surface, light colored so that when I drop a screw, I can find it. You will see I am not nice to my workbench. It is ugly, but all I do is about once a year or so, give it a light sanding, fresh coat of paint, and I swear it looks like it's utterly brand new. Um, I really love magnetic tool holders so that all the tools that I will frequently use, my MIP drivers, my nut driver, you know, the screw that I'll use to clean out the dirt out of screw heads, pliers, snips, needle nose, all this stuff can be just right here, easily accessed, um, knife, all that kind of stuff. Very easy to get to as I'm working on things. And then of course, magnetic tool holders, I'll have a couple of them. And when I'm not using them, they can just click easily right there on the, on the edge of the toolbox. And I still have enough space to work on anything that I want to. So there you go. That's, that's the tour of how I store my stuff. That's the tour of you know, how I put my parts and where I work on things. I hope this was helpful. Um, this is what I've got. Let me know down in the comments. What do you use? What's your kind of best method? Because this has worked for me for a while. Maybe there's something better. I don't know. So I'm interested to hear your comments down below in the section down below. Let me know. What is it you use? What do you like? What do you dislike? Did this give you any ideas if you're trying to figure out how to hang your stuff or how to get your RCs organized? Let me know. I'd appreciate it to see if this was useful for anybody. Thank you. Talk to you later. Goodbye.